Good morning everyone, it is a Saturday. We are meant to be heading out on our grand voyage tomorrow and myself and Lawrence are extremely sick. Um, I came down with it Wednesday? I think I was having lunch with a friend and I was like, that's weird, I've been craving oranges. And I just, I'm just annoyed. I just feel like i just gotten over it from England. I'm like, really, again? Anyway, it's hit Lawrence hard the last couple of days. So, nothing has been done. We haven't finished the, um, the battery stuff. We haven't finished any, just nothing. So, we have 30 hours to go. It really makes me wonder. One of the things I have to get done, obviously, is get all the clothes washed because I don't want any dirty clothes left um, when we come back. That's going to smell gross, so I'm get the washing done. One of the hardest things to know when we're packing for travel day is what activities we're going to be doing. Like, do we bring our water shoes? Are we going to have time to go kayak and paddle boarding? Um, this time in particular, we're going to be working out on the road. I know this looks like a, a strange obstacle but uh our good friend jen lent us these she runs um a crossfit uh, company in lecanto i think it's lecanto uh and they you fill them up with water and they come up to 20 pounds in weight i think and you can use them as like weightlifting things on the road um she also lent us a couple of skip ropes so just stuff we can take but it's like do we need any of this are we going to use it what are we going to do of course we're going to use the workout stuff if you're watching this jen but um yeah don't know what to bring this isn't cottage cheese um our friends karen and gary who are looking after the place when we're away actually um have brought us soup so let's hope this is magic soup a lot of comments we get on our videos is you guys are so funny but i think we're having a massive sense of humor failure this week uh I've been asleep for about 40 hours, I think. <laughs> uh, Natalie's got me up because we have to do something. So, um, <clears throat> annoyingly, I think for like full timers and everything, it's not so bad. They do this all the time. Like when we did the trip, I don't know why it's so stressful, but now we have literally nothing in the rig. It's empty. I still have work to do. I have to finish the batteries. I have to put the underbelly back on. And I've got less than 24 hours to do it. We don't. I mean, we could just cancel and then go next week, but no, we, we really can't. That's the problem. Won't. I don't understand why people do it because we have six campsites booked. Yeah, but we'd just have to drive double next week. Is the problem? Oh right, yeah, like seven hours. No, thanks. Like we have and options. Lose money. Yeah, but we're going to lose money, yeah. and actually, the place that we're going is really cool. Next week is really cool, so I really yeah. want to go there. So anyway, <clears throat> can you think of a joke so that no, no, just get on with it. Lawrence has awoken from a 36 hour sleep. Um, so, gonna heat up some of Karen's soup. Also another preparation, going through finally r ridding ourselves of uh, all the sources that are out of date and moving the ones that we frequently use over to the camper. So, next job, cleaning out the fridge. Joy. I just want to mention really quickly when we bought our Blackstone 17 inch Blackstone a couple of years ago at the prime height of their prime when everyone was promoting them and it is great we do love it um, the bags for it because they get very dirty and you don't want to clean it like every time you know immaculately they get very dirty these bags were about the same price as the Blackstone so we never got one so anyway these are on offer this was like $18 or something and you get a cover for it as well so I don't know if they are as you're watching this right now but I'll leave the link below because I bought it immediately because it was on a 38% discount so if you have a 17 inch Blackstone and you're too cheap like me to buy the proper cover now is the time put everything out of the basement rearranging loading up the truck so 
putting our little sling in for the doggies. Lawrence is busy in the back of the truck putting the, well you've just cleaned it out and now we're going to put the wooden slotty things in so that we can actually get all the, all of this. We've now roped in the help of Chelsea and Daryl. <laughs> Is it fitting the underbelly of our rig? And Chelsea's helped pack up the RV dog fence, the nice new one that we have. Um, so, it's going well. The only thing I'm worried about is that I think I'm happy we've got everything pretty much set out. We actually had some friends, Daryl came over and helped with their underbelly. With the underbelly, because I'm struggling <laughs> if I if I go upside down or anything other than vertical. Um, and so yeah, no, I think we're in a we're in good shape. My only my biggest concern is how I feel tomorrow if I can drive or not, because it's been a while since I've towed this. You don't want to do it sick. <clears throat> the way I feel right now, I don't really want to drive anywhere um in anything yeah never mind tying the rig for five hours so yeah that's my only concern but i think other than that we're in pretty good i'm i'm not cleaning the house i've decided that i'm just gonna pay someone <laughs> <laughs> i'm wow. hoping karen will give me information on her cleaner <laughs> I, I can't even right now yeah but i don't know we'll keep you updated we've got 24 but, hours lawrence less yeah, we've than done, no we're good we're in a good spot we've got the truck ready to go in the back i've cleared out all the storage bay the rig is all done i think you've done most of the inside haven't you we just need to put food and stuff in right yep so the fridge is up to temperature the ac works power's working so i think you know we could just up and go right now and we would be okay i think yeah yeah i think so well i need to chuck some stuff in i haven't done anything in my office yet but yeah, we're good. 24 okay. hours, we can chill out. I need like three hours to just crash. Yeah, I think we're going to have another <clears> epic <throat> long sleep. <laughs> yeah, well, I did sleep for like 40 hours. You did. So, um, <laughs> okay, well, we'll right. keep you updated. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, it's now 7.30 at night, so T minus 20 hours or something. I don't, don't even know. <laughs> But we're in better shape than we were this morning. Not like physically, we're both absolutely done. And I'm just praying at this point that Lawrence will be able to drive tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll have to put it off. We obviously don't want to be unsafe or anything. Um, so, <sighs> lots of medication, early night, and let's hope we're both feeling better tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone, it is 9.30 a.m. Lawrence wants to hit the road by midday. I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I have no idea how he's feeling yet. We still have a few things to pack. Now it's just, you know what it's like, coffee, the toiletries, last minute clothes. So I would say T minus six hours, um, but we'll see when he wakes up how he's feeling because it all depends on that now. It's gonna take a little while because I reduced the pressures because I knew we weren't towing very much. So I'm putting them back up to 80. So I put the fronts at, I can't remember what we did. Actually, 65 I think- 65 or something? I think 65 fronts and 75 back. Yeah. So, yeah. It just makes it ride nicer when you've got, when you're not towing. So. T minus, what, four hours now? I've, I've allowed us an extra four hours. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does this when they're traveling or going on their long trips, but Lawrence likes to plug in the cars. Of course I do. Why? Because otherwise the battery will die. In this day and age, do they actually still die? Yeah. Still uses power. So the thing is, we don't really need to do this. So we do have people staying at our house, looking after the house for us. No, robbing um, the house. And so uh, they could just run the car, but it just means I don't have to. So I've got it on a battery tender to... Keep it charged. I've got it on the mower as well. We never even use the mower because we pay someone else to do it, but it's still one there. <laughs> so the good news is Lawrence is feeling a little bit better. Not 100%, but he is feeling better. I had a McDonald's coffee and that did the trick. Oh, McDonald's always wins. Yeah. I am feeling much better today. In fact, I feel like I have a new lease on life. I know, life. it's annoying. It's really annoying actually, because I'm still not 100%, but you are just like, let's do this and this and this. 
She's really happy and it's it's really annoying. I'm just excited to be on the road. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty excited. Now we've got everything done. It was a tough day. I don't think we filmed at the end of yesterday, did we? I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, it was I rough. A, it was a I rough had a day. rough day, but thank you to Daryl who came over. He actually came over to say goodbye. I thought he was coming over to help, and so I had him put the underbelly of the trailer on. I didn't realise until afterwards that he was just here. Um. Anyway, thank you, Daryl. That was really helpful. But yeah, yesterday was a rough day, but we're doing good. We are. I'm excited now. Right, we have a few hours. So. I've done my tyre pressures. Oh, tyre pressures. That's pressures. what I was worried about. Okay, and then let's and then go. Then I need to remember up. how to hitch up. We got this. I'll have to look back at one of our videos. Don't watch the one of how not to hitch up. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a link for that somewhere. It was a funny video. All right, T minus three hours. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I've cleaned the fridge. I vacuumed and mopped the floors. Uh, cleaned all the bathrooms. There's just nothing. I've cleaned the bedding. That's all washed, ready to go back on nice and fresh because there's just nothing worse than coming back to a messy house. Um, so, all of that's done. We're about to hitch up. I don't know what else is next. Hopefully we're just going. We'll see. We did it. We did. With two hours to go, I was like, there's no way we're gonna, we're gonna be able to do this. In the series 24, which is kind of what we're expecting to do with this. They always go right up to the last minute. Yeah. That shows how bad they are. <laughs> like, Inefficient. you know, they're meant to be the best CIA agents ever, and we did this way earlier than that. We so, did. although we didn't travel to different countries somehow within 24 hours. It's a great series, by the way. If you yeah. haven't seen it, 24, it's from like 2002, but it's one of the best. <laughs> it is. Uh, so, yeah, no, I'm impressed we did it. So, now we have about five hours driving to do. We do indeed. We've got so, to load the dogs up, but. What is it, the dogs? A wash bag, because I just had a shower, yep. a bit of a trim. I feel a little bit more alive now. I can tell you're a bit so, more alive, yes. Yeah, I feel fine to drive. I did go and get a diesel just to make sure that I could concentrate whilst driving. Otherwise, we would have had to put this off until tomorrow or, yeah. or later Which on. Which we would have done for safety reasons. Don't worry, we're not being... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You unsafe. <laughs> no, we could have done. We would have lost a lot of money, but it was an option. Yes. So, no, I think we're fine. Uh, and then if we don't, then we can... We can just, uh, I don't know, harvest host or something True. on the way there. It's so. like four or five hours. We'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Or you could drive. No, never happening. Well, I'd rather go tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so many people agree with you with that. Mm -hmm, I know. All right, fine. Okay. So is there anything else? Otherwise, uh, we're traveling. I guess yeah, we'll we're lift, on the we'll road now. How exciting! Back to a travel channel, Lawrence. Back to a travel channel. That's where all our views go. <laughs> 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 so everyone switches off. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be funny. Trust me. We'll make them funny. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I'm going to put a playlist up here or a video that I think you will enjoy. Um, if you please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Until I'm sick, I'm, I'm messing this all up. Can you do it? You do this normally, anyway. I know every week. I've done this for two years. You think I get it right by now? If it's on, helped you, do it. you, hit the thanks button. And yeah. if you'd like to join and become a Brazier, you can hit the join button to become a member and support Lawrence and myself. A couple of tits. <laughs> all right, we will see you next week where we'll be on the road. Hopefully, find some cool things to do. See you next week.